I chose Po because I was looking for a place where I could really have an immersive experience, learn French, and be in a city that wasn't too big or too small. It's small enough that you can figure out your way pretty quickly, um, but big enough that it has everything that you might want to do. You can still go out dancing, you can still go to the movies, you can go shopping, whatever. There's a market and it has good public transportation. It's located near the mountains, the beach, and the Basque country, which means that you have opportunities to have a mixture of um, different experiences. The reason I chose to study abroad was to learn the French language, learn more about the culture, and to get more credits that counted towards my French degree. And mostly, I really just wanted to have the experience of living in another country. The best experience from abroad was by far being able to intern at the Chamber of Commerce. Since I studied journalism, I was really able to use my skills along with our team to shoot content and work on social media. One of the highlights of my time abroad was living with a host family. I spent a year with them, so we really got to connect. They had younger kids, um, one of whom was just learning how to speak, and my name was one of the few words he was able to say. Um, so that was really special. My host family also invited me to spend the Christmas holiday with them in the French countryside. And um, that was one of the best experiences I had while I was abroad. And I still keep in touch with my family till this day. I have so many great memories from my time in Po, but a lot of them have to do with being outdoors. You're right next to the Pyrenees Mountains. You have the Basque Coast just an hour away. And so as a group, we took a lot of field trips. We went to Spain, of course, we went to the beach. Um, and I had so much fun just being in the nature um, and experiencing everything that that corner of France has to offer. One of my favorite memories from my time studying abroad would have to be snowshoeing in the Pyrenees. So the biggest challenge I had while abroad by far was learning the language. <laughs> um, growing up in high school and college, I'm not ashamed to admit it, uh, I was never a good uh, foreign language student, but studying with USAC was just an absolute game changer. Um, the classes were amazing. They were three to four hour intensive classes. And I can honestly say I learned more in one summer with USAC than probably one to two years in college. It was absolutely unreal. When I challenged myself to speak to someone only in French, I often found that the conversations were some of the most difficult I'd ever had, but also really some of the most rewarding ones I've ever experienced. So I was really worried about my French skills, but I really had no need to doubt myself. I just had to try my best and really believe in myself. Definitely take advantage of the mixers because they were amazing. They allowed us to meet French students. So definitely take advantage of that. Once you reach the point where you screw up in French nearly every single day, you start to realize that, hey, it's okay to make mistakes. Nothing's gonna happen. There's nothing to be afraid of. So and that is really, truly the only way you can learn in, in French and in life in general. One of the biggest lessons I learned from my time in Po was just about seizing all the opportunities that are in front of you, even if they seem a little scary or out of your comfort zone. I was very nervous going to France because we kind of always hear about how rude the French are. However, I discovered that that was not true at all. And I often found that the French people were super friendly um, and they were really nice and welcoming. And I had had this kind of bad perception in my head of kind of what French people were going to be like. So I really learned not to kind of show up with these negative opinions um, before I could really experience things for myself, um, get to know people, and really learn about what they're actually like. The biggest lesson I learned from Poe was to just always be in the moment. You're constantly surrounded by beautiful buildings and castles and art and so much history that you just learn to appreciate every second of it and just soak it up and live in the moment. 
in a foreign environment, uh, just learning how to do things day by day, learning how to take the bus, um, take the train, having different types of um, transportation versus what was available to me back at home was a challenge that I had to take. And just learning to do all these things while using a different language has helped me to improve my problem solving skills and my ability to basically think on my feet. I had such an incredible experience that I actually went back to France the following spring and studied abroad again with USAC, uh, this time in Lyon. It helped me learn French, but it also showed me that I really wanted to work in journalism overseas, which is actually what I do now. I live in Nice and I'm a freelance journalist and I use French every day. So it's really thanks to that experience in Po that I was able to come here and transition to living in France full time. I ended up going to Valencia, Spain with USAC the very next year. Um, and now I'm currently living in Barcelona, working for a French artist. In studying abroad, I graduated college and I moved to Japan to teach English. So I discovered my interest in teaching English abroad when I was in Po because I got to volunteer at an after school English class and I got to help some teens and young adults learn English and I discovered that I really enjoyed it. So now I am in the beginning of my third year of teaching English in Japan. Since studying abroad, I have lived in three other countries and have traveled to many more. I currently work in the education abroad field and I'm finishing up my master's degree in international education. Um, studying abroad with USAC definitely played a big role in my current and my future career plans.